I believe that there are reasons why the largest opposition party originally felt it was yes. So uh, they should determine and find out why they have moved from that yes position to a no position and convince them in, with the force of their argument why it should be yes. What does the CPP think? The, CPP, the highest body of the CPP held a meeting. Uh, throughout our, our former manifestos, we had always been for yes for the election of um, uh, MMDCEs. However, as you know, the only difference on this occasion is that they are adding the fact that it should be partisan at the local level. In fact, just before even coming here, I spoke to the former MP of Kumbungu, uh, who, as you know, is a CPP man. The seat was held by the CPP. And I asked him directly, Moses, uh, you can best assess what would be best for the party in Kumbungu. And he made it very clear to me that a yes vote would be in the interest of the party. It would be far easier at the local level for us to get representation and people to participate if uh, the elections took place on a partisan line. And he's at the local level. So I think we have to believe him, we have to trust him. And I think this is the case throughout the country. So, so the CPP will support a yes vote? I think the, the national leadership have made it clear, they held a meeting, it is for a yes vote. However, you can see that if the vote took place today, uh, it would be no. And getting close to December 17th, it looks like it will still be a no. I don't know what the record is of people who come out to even vote at the district assembly elections. I think normally it's even 20%. Yeah. Now 40% are required to come out and vote. Out of that 40%, 40 75% are supposed to say yes. I think it's a very difficult task, a very tall order. The likelihood is that no will prevail. The NEC cited monetization and polarization of Ghana's policies as the reasons they wouldn't support um, uh, they wouldn't support a yes vote. What would what's the CPP saying about some of the reasons that NEC has given that our, our politics is already polarized and we can't afford to take this to the district level? Well, I think it is, it is the MPP and the NDC who are specialists at monetization. And they have rather introduced that into our body politic over the last 26 or 27 years. That is why Ghanaians are tired of them. And the, the Ghanaians, wherever you go, say they are tired of MPP and NDC. That is because they know they are the ones who are behind the monetization. They know they are the ones who are behind, behind the divisions. They know they are the ones who are um, a serial and repetitive um, a corruption specialists. And so they are tired of them. Um, uh, and we are also tired of them, but we have to become stronger, more organized and more united to uh, demonstrate to Ghanaians that we are a, a better alternative.